Andrew I Yard have Street. two words to say to you. Steve Irwin. Uh, well, Steve Irwin is the exception that proves the rule. So, uh, having gone through the medical and scientific literature, there has, to my knowledge, never been another case of someone being killed by a stingray barb to the heart. It was not just a billion to one shot, it was a many, many billions to one shot. He spent his entire life working with mostly with snakes and crocodiles without ever receiving a, a nasty bite. And then this one, you know, unbelievable chance encounter happened to him. He was far, far more likely in his life to have been run over by a car. And the last thing he would want would be wildlife being demonised because of what happened to him. What about your, your lovely fiance Helen Glover, who's the, the Olympic rower? You're engaged now. Congratulations. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Well yes. Well what does she think when you're then going off to these dangerous, well, not dangerous places, but to do things around and film dangerous animals? Uh, she is jealous at the moment. <laughs> really? <laughs> is, is Helen like you? I mean, are you sort of two peas in a yeah, pod? We, we very much are. H Helen grew up in Cornwall. Uh, you know, she, she had her entire childhood spent in the, the, the Cornish coastland. She loves wildlife, she loves adventure, and she cannot wait for the chance to come out and join me on some of these expeditions. And would you, the two of you ultimately like a family? Oh, yes. So would that, change, would that change you no, then not going at all. away? Or? My, my parents took me away from a, a very, very young age, from, you know, before I could even crawl, and I pretty much had to fit in with the adventures they wanted to do, and I would, I would very much like my own family to go the same way because it was the best possible childhood for, for my sister and I. But in the meantime, Helen obviously wants very little to do with you and wants to keep you away. Uh, she doesn't care if you go around the world because <laughs> she's got she's the busy. Rio Olympics she's to look really forward busy. to. Uh, at the moment, my job is kind of making smoothies in the morning yeah. and sympathising when she comes back after a 40-mile rowing day uh, and just, you know... And that's every day she's doing this. Every single mm -hmm. day. I mean, normally throughout the year she'll, she'll do six days a week. At the moment, running up to Rio, she's doing seven, oh, and it's insane. How could Helen possibly be OK with... You know, when you say to me, what are you watching in that other room? You know, mm. when you're saying, what are you watching now? A couple of weeks ago on BBC Two, I was watching him going up a mountain with seasoned mountaineers Warm whipped poop. up that nearly blew them off the whole mountain face here and everything. I mean, you had to be scared on that, my friend. I, I did. And, you know, the, the thing with Helen was was that I called her from the satellite phone when I was on the rock face and I was, you know, kind of was that right on goodbye? the edge. And I was sort of saying, you know, this has been really, really sketchy. There are rocks thundering around our ears. We've got a storm rolling in. The satellite phone cut out and I couldn't get signal again for four days. Oh, and she, she, she was back wait. here. Yeah. No, OK. Mm. On that, we will leave you hanging. Steve, good luck. It is fierce. fierce. Tuesday, 8 o'clock, ITV. ITV. Right.